Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we are going to be building a screened internet cable. So we had a customer who wanted some cables built. These are a pair I made earlier. They're Duland Gold RCA plugs. There and there. Not the paper ones, not the extreme the um, high-end paper ones, it is just the standard plastics. Um, using B tube three, um, which obviously screened and then overlapped with ABS expandable sleeve number six. Um, and that's it. Just want to explain to you, I've got some new glasses. So these are very focal here. Well, they're uh, bifocals really. So you've got a line. So I might be doing this to this. So these are just my normal short sighted glasses but they're magnifiers as well, so my hands look really big. So I'm going to keep these on while I'm doing the small work. Here we've got the B-tube number three. Yeah, it's called three because the diameter of that hole is, is three mil. So one of these ends is going to be wired in to the RCA earth at the preamp end. And I'll denote that by popping a blue piece of heat shrink on the end there. Just prep in this end. You want to get rid of any little loose bits of wire, multi strand wire, like that. Cool. So pop it in the vise. And what I'm going to do is dab solder around there, around the actual wire to keep bring it all together, stop the thing fraying. Don't overheat this because it will melt the, the plastic former quite quickly. So just, just go around, join it all up. You don't want a load of solder on this because space is the premium because we have to get all the wire through the shell. You don't want it too thick. So now you can see that you've got a ring of solder all the way around the wire, the braid. This braid has to be wired in to the earth connection, which is this bit here. So we need to have a bit of wire to connect that up. So I'm just using uh, silver plated one dash 0.6 wire. Solder a bit. Put a bit of solder on the end of it. And then get it in there. That's it. You don't want to make it so really bulky this. As I've said, you need to get it through the shell. Cut that off. So that's prepped that end. Now the other end, you're not gonna screen the other end at all because it will create an earth loop. So that's about right. So you, you, this is not to connect to anything on here. So if that's, that's plenty. We're gonna use some black tape because we're gonna put the, um, ABS tube, expandable sleeve in, over now. I'll just wrap it around. This stops any frayed bits of wire snagging. This is your ABS number six, expandable sleeve in. Be careful with this stuff because it does fray quite easy. So try not to over you touch it. So pop it through there. And then work it around. So now you're through, you can take this off. I'll go the other way. It's there. <coughs> Heat shrink. This is a 9.5 black. Pop it over the top. 
it over there so it's covering. Good. You can see that it's actually melting the former in there, which is not a problem. It will, it will reform. So end, other end. I'm going to cut this short a bit. Pop this on, this end. Before I do, I'm going to put the blue on because this, this will denote which end is the source end. Right, these have, this is the, that's the bit at the front. You can see the screw thread there at this end. So that's the end that goes in that end, like that. The issue here is that we need to open up this hole so that you can see this end, it's, a, it's tight. Well, it's, so you, you'd have to screw it on and it will just mess up the heat shrink. So you just need to open up a bit. I'm going to use a reamer for this job. You could use a, a drill bit. But um, we don't have the luxury of having a nine mil, 10 mil drill bit. I think I need to get a new reamer. I've had this for years. Yeah, that goes off now. It goes over the top nicely. I'll leave it on there actually. Forgot to heat that there. Brilliant. So we're going to be using for this connector part some Duland solid core DCA. What do they call it? DCA 26 GA. So it's just two lengths. One of the conductors is going to be connected to the signal, the other one to the earth. Just easy. I've done a little light twist on it just to keep it together. Thread it through there. It's going to expose some of the wire. Small ones, really. But these do the job. I'm going to put the uh, RCA in there. I'm using this so it doesn't scratch the gold plate of the plug. Right, first, before I do any soldering, I want to get it fixed in place. So what I'm going to do is build up this little lay here with tape because the, see the grub screw hole there? At the moment, if I put the grub screw in, it's just going to be loose. I don't want the wire pulling out. So we're going to use black tape to build up the actual thickness of the wire. I'm just going to pop it through to see if there's enough. Yeah, that should be fine. So I'm going to do the signal connection first. These aren't connected to the other end, so it doesn't matter which one you join. I'm going to use a long one. You've got a solder bucket for the signal here. So I'll just get some good old solder on there. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant. Just pop that in. Cool. Give it a push.
So when you're soldering to this arc here, we don't need all that wire. So get it lined up. Like so. Make sure that goes over the top. Yeah, that's fine. Right, there's a grub screw hole, head screwdriver, pop it in there. So that's all wired in nicely. Push that on, hold it tight there with your hands. Don't use the vise because you'll scratch up the gold plate and you might bend the things as well. So that's that, that end done, all good. So now we've got to do the other end. So we have to open up the hole here. Build up the layer here. So remember this end, you're not connecting the screen to anything. Cut it down. Expose the wires. So I'm gonna use a meter to find out which one of these conductors is the um, earth and which one's the signal. No, it's not the signal, it's the earth. Right. That's good, because I cut that one short accidentally. Same as before. Heating up the signal bucket. And just pop this in. The wires keep moving. So I'm just gonna fix it in place. So that's done. Once you've done your cable, best to just do a continuity check. Signal and center spigot. Cool. Make sure it's not connected to the earth accidentally. And then your earth. Brilliant, that's working fine. So as I've said, Blue signifies the source end. So that could be the CD player, yeah? And then this end is the preamp. So the signal's running through the wire that way. Cool, so I've made the customer two pairs of those, one meter each. We'll give you a bit more detail on the site. We're gonna be listing the actual recipe, what ingredients we've used to make it. So you have to purchase those individually on the car, um, just work out how much you need. We'll help you out with that. There you go. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.